Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we got for you today. But first, a word from our sponsors. G Fuel! What's up, G Fuel? <laughs> Check out G Fuel right now. You got a 20% off code with the link down below. And they've actually got a brand new product, Protein and Energy. Gain, Look, son. Uh, there's a lot of times where we get sleepy in the afternoon. It's like most human beings who work in an office or work in general. And actually, protein is really good for you because it's good for your metabolism. It helps you not snack. And so I actually like it. I like the chocolate and the mocha flavor. Joe only likes chocolate because they don't like coffee over there. No, I hate that. I hate I like the, the coffee. I hate the smell of coffee. But it's a good idea otherwise. Just don't get that flavor. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. Get. Oh, wait. Our flavor is still sold out. God dang it. Okay. We've already messaged G Fuel, and we're getting we're getting that. Thank you for making our flavor so popular mm -hmm. that it sells out all the goddamn time. In fact, I'm seeing eBay auctions for our flavor. <laughs> so that's pretty sweet. So, yes. Uh G Fuel, check the links down below. Grab yourself some. Okay, Alex, what the heck has been going on uh, in game? Oh, by the way, I went to uh, San Antonio, man. San Antonio has a great fucking heavy metal scene. All right? of them. Yeah, they don't get so all. jealous because Austin's metal scene kind of sucks compared to San Well, they got the San Alamo Antone. Dome, and we don't have like a major huge venue. The venue that we went to H -H was right across Center. the street from the Alamo Dome. It was like Vibes Event Center or Rock Box or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Carnifex, Cattle Decapitation, um, Rivers of Ni River of Nile, uh, Rivers of Nile, and a bunch of other bands. Just so much. And you know what? They had these warehouses with actual fucking huge fans. And I'm like, this is genius. Because all the other venues, I'm like, we're, we're sweating. sweating our yeah. fucking asses Too much off. body heat. Here, man. it's like super air conditioned. So you feel like going even crazier because mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I'm so comfortable. Uh, yeah, it was fucking awesome. Well, they also allow, San Antonio allows for crazy pyrotechnic shows at all of their things. So, you know, good on you. Nice. Antonio. And then they had some uh, tacos outside, which is the best part. Yeah. Carne asada tacos. San Antonio does have way better so tacos. Good. El Pastor. Oh, yeah. In Texas, she and we. All right. Well, what the heck has been uh, happening in gaming news? Uh, Fallout is doing real well. Uh, 65 million views in its first two weeks. All right. Uh, killing it. Um, it's too bad you and Joe hate the show. Hate it. Right? Hate it. Hate it. I, only, I gave it a it seven. seven, which is so the, good, the good score. I said it was good, and then I, but I hate it. because yeah. hate I it. gave it a seven, and then I went and upped it to an eight. And so now, you also hated it? Now I, I really, really hate it. You hate it because, yeah. <laughs> I actually cannot wait for season two. So that's a good announcement. Isn't that, season two like coming out 2034? That gives a... <laughs> No, that gives us uh, something to look forward to that can maybe hit a 9 or a 10. So they could take all the feedback because it seems like the people that made that are really passionate. It was very, very accurate to the show. Loved it and it great success. a lot of people back into uh, mm -hmm. Fallout. Yeah, all four of the most recent Fallout games are way through the roof on Steam. Yeah, and people are loving it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it beat out Rings of Power. I don't know what? how. What? That, you uh, telling we, me something with good writing dollars. and good characters? Some of them. They got a fucking deal buying it's the better. Fallout rights, and then it does as well as that. They're like, God damn it, why did we spend half a billion or a billion? I don't know how much they spent. Yeah, too much money. We should have spent um, some of that on uh, better writers. Yeah. Yes, but doing great. So we're probably going to see a bunch more uh, from them. Um, we I suspect that we'll see. I, I don't know. This has potential to just keep going with seasons and seasons. You know, I don't really see like new end. characters later on or something. different yeah. vaults. I mean, yeah. they can just decide that they're going to okay with different vaults. I, I'd say no more than five. You know, five is my sweet spot for a lot of uh, stories. Yeah. But actually, it's different because old school TV that you'd get like twenty five episodes. We only get like eight. Yeah. So you can actually keep it going longer than that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, speaking of Fallout, uh, Starfield is getting a Dune buggy. Uh, oh, I thought you cool. said Starfield is getting a uh, Amazon TV show. Oh no, <laughs> it's no. gonna be like nothing. That would, they would get a two B TV show or. Uh, hey, you should mouth two B as terrible. B movies. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 I'm sorry, to be people. You actually are probably better than Starfield. I just couldn't think of anything else that was better. Hey, are we still flying in the room with the glitter? Yeah. So... Uh, there's a major update coming right now. It doesn't include the Dune buggies, but they did tease. They teased in a video about a new update eventually that you'll be able to drive a Dune buggy across Starfield's various planets. The good thing about this is you'll be able to 
play less of the game because you won't be stuck inside of Starfield as long and you'll be wow, able to. Wow, this is a huge news because, like, that's one of the things we asked for a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, you drive around. It's like, oh, cool, nothing. It's like driving around <laughs> like nothing. outside oh, of Texas. It's oh, like, cool, oh, nothing. cool, a cow, maybe? You think maybe there's a space, space cow? I wish there was a space cow. <laughs> yeah. Space cow. Yeah. There's, like, nothing out there, though. I know. And I guess there is. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. in it... Uh, in theory, this is good. Is it going to bring me yeah. back? No. Uh, They're going to need major overhauls, major quest redesign, major yep. temple redesign. Exactly. And then maybe. No, not for me. I'll, I'd come back with the expansion and then enjoy the crawler mm-hmm. at the at the time of the expansion. Uh, we'll stream the expansion. Okay. Can't I'll wait. go back to Fallout instead. Is, is it coming with the expansion or before the expansion? Uh, it just says it teased at a future release. Sometime in the future. Future release. Okay. That could be two years from now. So, cool. Yeah. We have no idea. But hopefully soon. X Defiant is actually coming soon. Uh, it finally has a release date. And it comes out way sooner than I thought it was going to be. May 21st. Uh, this was a, a super delayed first-person shooter that actually had uh, X Defiant, the Ubisoft shooter. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so, I've been waiting for that, and we never got in on any of the closed betas, so I'm interested to see uh, what's it, what it's like. Yeah, they did some stress tests. They had some issues with the stress tests. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they got everything figured Thanks. out if they've finally given us a release date. Um, and so this is one an Ubisoft game that actually had people really excited. They said most of the time the, the shooters for Ubisoft are generic, kind of shitty. No one really wants to play them for long periods of time. Um, but they, there was a lot of promise of this one. So mm. hopefully this is a hit. If there's any company that really, really, really needs one right now, it's mm-hmm. probably Ubisoft. So uh, uh, when, What does it come out? The 21st. 21st. All right. We will be checking that out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alan Wake 2, on top of almost everybody's. Uh, you know, top couple games of last year, major success, uh, is not profitable, apparently. Um, oh, well, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. I mean, for the longest time, he was worried that uh, uh, Alan Wake 2 would not be a, a thing, you mm-hmm. know, but he finally got the fun in for it and was able to make it. So it's not the most popular game out there. The fans are very, very... Um, you know, supportive of the game. Yes. I wouldn't say they're quite as rabid as, say, Final Fantasy or, you know, Kingdom Hearts. They did hate me, Jay, and uh, Patrick. Patrick for making fun <laughs> of the song. Or not making fun. Of it. Well, I guess we did kind of make fun of it. It was like, this isn't our, this isn't our thing. They went crazy, man. It's like, this is your thing. You get you it? You don't get it. You get it? Got it? Good. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. It, it, yeah, don't wake two dance sequence is so good. And the, yeah, I love What's it. What's also the epic. Ex- That's the big thing. Yes. So I'm going to read to you what the CEO said. He said he wrote that although it had sold 1.3 million copies at yep. the start of February, the company had only recouped, quote, a significant part of the marketing and development expenses for Alan Wake 2. Uh, that's not good. Um, and so this comes down to, you know, we starting a couple years ago, we started talking about multiple ecosystems for PC games, console games, and potential problems with that. You lock off content in a marketplace and you take some of the money from Epic and you're like, cool, we've got some guaranteed money here. Yeah, but the, your audience is this, this big. And so a lot of people only buy within the Steam ecosystem. It's a thing of convenience. Yeah, it yeah. auto starts when your PC loads. And, you know... Yeah, it it just sucks that they're hamstrung by Epic Game Store only, you know? Um, I think they could have reached profitability sooner, but I guess it was some of the money from Epic that allowed them to do it in the first place. Yeah, no Steam release in sight, apparently. So... Um, Bummer. It's going to continue for a while. I mean, sometimes the Epic exclusive stuff lasts for a full year, so maybe this fall uh, it'll come on Steam... Hopefully on a sale, a get sale. people, was, get, get people excited right about sale. it uh, because it is it is a good game. You know, this is a game that I actually I watched a buddy stream the game and you get almost every bit of the experience watching someone else play the game because it's so story driven and character yeah. driven. And honestly, there's yeah. like this much fucking gameplay in it. You move some stuff around, for <gasps> this, but the, the, you play that game for the story. You're not playing it for, you know, Twitch FPS or, or some of those other things. So um, hopefully people get the opportunity to look at it. A uh, game we did play is Grey Zone Warfare. Yes. Sold 400,000 copies in two days. Uh, this is a game that's an extraction shooter. Uh, it needs some work. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, uh, <laughs> still needs some work. Check out uh, our it's, it's angry, angry impressions right? of it where uh, Joe and Alex have a grand old time and uh, 
And then, uh, yeah, it, it needs some work. But I see the potential. And mm-hmm. honestly, a lot of people were saying, hey, this was kind of the state of, uh, you know, Tarkov, Tarkov when it yeah. came out. So, hey, they might already be ahead of the curve. Exactly. And at least it's not Tarkov. Yeah. And so a lot of the comments were like, wow, this game looks great for not costing $250. And that's one yeah. of the reasons why this, this game is doing so well is there are people looking for ways to get out. They're like, look, we've had enough of your shit. You haven't done anything about the cheaters in your game. Most of the lobbies in Tarkov, there's, there's major issues, and then there's the you know the EOD edition, and then the um, you know the bullshit, two hundred fifty dollars. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So good on them. There's a bunch of other extraction ones you can check out. Uh, Gray Zone. You don't need to spend two hundred fifty dollars. Forever Winter just put out uh, a, a new trailer for the game. You guys, if you were interested in that, it's one that we had an opportunity to play. So you have a good time with that one. There's good options. Um, <laughs> this week. Uh, do you guys love kernel level anti cheats on your PCs that you know automatically start when you start when you start? Up? Yeah, those are my favorite things about gaming. Yeah. Uh, so Vanguard is riots, um, and so riot. If it used to be that if you were just playing Valorant, you'd start on your PC, it would load up, and then it would recognize that your computer case had lights on it, and it goes no. No lights. We're going to turn off your fans. And then they're like, well, I need my fans so that my GPU no, doesn't, doesn't cook. overheat. And then yeah. it's like, no, we turned them off. And so people were having issues. Well, in their infinite wisdom, they decided to put it in League of Legends. So League of Legends now has the Vanguard anti-cheat system. And it or, did some bad things to no. a lot of people. Now, according to Riot, the vast majority of people had no issues. The problem is so many people play these games that you know people were saying that it was... They bricked their PCs or they were crashing, stuck in reboot loops. And then Riot's like, no, 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 no one's PC was bricked. But they, they didn't say that no one's PC was stuck in reboot loops or all of those other problems. So um, we're, we're just getting to the point where any, any game, whether they're competitive and sometimes even cooperative games, are having these kernel-level anti-cheats. So it's kind of a thing that's unfortunately here to stay. Yeah. Um, this is just a real nasty one that... And I guess it's being forced on everybody. They don't want it. These are always having problems. It's a it. damn shame because we need anti-cheats because motherfucking, uh, you know, it, it, I just hate cheaters in games. They ruin the economy. But then the, your, your anti-cheats They're gonna find can a also way, fuck yeah. up. Yeah. The, good, the, the, the <laughs> high-level <laughs> cheaters find a way around them yes. easily. Yeah. And all it does is punish the majority of the player yes. base where, you know, you're trying mm-hmm. to, to move. And then, you know, it says no. Or it doesn't like your mouse drivers and says no. So... All right, you have a bunch of rapid fire little ones. Yeah, I got a lot of titty little ones for you. So, uh, V Rising is one that we played a little one. bit. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. That one is coming out with their 1.0 launch this week, May eighth. So that's two years from its early access release. So I thought that I- game was out. Yeah, I know, right? Me well, too. it is out. It's just early access. I did this way early access. I'm not a fan of the early access because you get play it. We play. It for I don't a long feel like time. going back to this game, I'm honestly. I'm, you know, but I it's agree. better we now. Yeah. I had a great time with it, but there's zero reason. So like I haven't played done. it enough. I'm done. Surprise hit back in 2020. Uh, sold well over three million copies by now. Uh, it's got awesome. a crossover with Castlevania. Uh, with Simon Belmont. So just letting you know, if you're a fan of the vampire games and fan of E-Rising, we can uh, tell you that it's a good game and you wouldn't uh, be losing any money there. Uh, So check that one out. Mm -hmm. Uh, And next is, it looks like Space Marine 2 is going to have a PvP mode. So a lot of, maybe you didn't expect that. You know, we got, what, three three player cooperative, uh, the original had PvP, and it's been so long that I was like, wait, the original had PvP? I don't even remember. Yeah, the original had PvP. It was like eight-man squads uh, against each other, at Marine, like Chaos Marine and Marine. So um, I think there was a recent uh, video or, or some kind of stream where somebody was going through some of the screens and somebody screenshotted it. Screen capped it where we see uh, uh, there. there's a team-based mode. Two squads of eight Marines are going to face off against each other. So um, and it's going to have a progression system, let you unlock different classes, tactical Marines, Devastator Marines, Assault Marines, Noise? as well as weapon and armor customization. No, we're, we have to play the fucking Ultramarines. Play Extra noise. maps, armor sets, and stuff like that. So looking looking forward to that. Yet another reason 
why you should support uh, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 coming out. One of out. the top games on my most anticipated list this year. Yep. And really play great. it together with friends, which I can't wait to play with the boys. So that's good news there. Um, also have uh, NetherRealm decided to give everyone a proper Boo! look at Homelander. <laughs> In uh, Mortal Kombat. How much is our fatalities? How, yeah. yeah. How much is it going to cost? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a, a problem here. They use his face. And remember, it was a, um, Homelander himself that said, yeah, maybe it's not my voice. So I'm trying to see if he. I can't tell whether that's a good voice or not based upon the trailer. The trailer's really short for 44 seconds, and he doesn't talk much on purpose, I guess. So um, that's out. Now, his moves look cool. I always like the Superman laser eyes thing, so you're, you're, you're always going to get me excited by that. But unfortunately, motor combat has not been our best friend in, in a little while. So, yeah, that's what I got. I got a few more news stories, but I'm going to save it for the uh, second uh, news yeah and if you want to buy him so i look it's he's in the uh mortal combat uh the combat pack one dlc so yeah. it comes with omni-man quan chi uh peacemaker ermac homelander and uh takahashi Takeda. Right. so when that when that one is released it so just it, sucks that they didn't uh, i mean they're taking our money they're doing fucking microtransactions they're doing fatalities all that bullshit and they say they're sorry they're making money but you don't want to pay anthony so it's like you know, pay for the actual voice. Warner Brothers has nothing right now. Warner Brothers made The Flash last year. They made Suicide Squad, killed the Justice League. They, like, they don't have the. They need. They need everything. So they're gonna milk their successful IPs like crazy. I'm. I'm just hoping it's Hogwarts. Warner Brothers, and I'm hoping it's not Nether uh, Nether Realms. I hope, but I don't know. Yeah. So we have that. Um, and there, there's more sub, but I'll share it with you later. Let's uh, say thank you to our sponsor, yes, G, G Fuel. Fuel. Go check it out. The link's Protein. down below. Get uh, some percent off yourself. And we will see you in the second video and on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.